Jadi uh, di kota Ceras, kota Ceras, dua tempat itu gol where violence were used against uh, uh, defenseless people in two uh, deplorable incidents. One where gangsters were used, thugs were used against the residents protesting against the, the rebuilding of the barricade. And secondly, the police themselves uh, were the acted as thugs when they attack. Uh, uh, defenseless uh, innocent uh, bystander as reported as reported I think these are most deplorable and the Prime Minister and the, the both the Prime Minister and the the Home Minister uh, Hamid Alba should uh, give their personal attention because they had the PM had promised uh, uh, reforms after the elections they have heard the voice of the people in particular on judicial on anti-corruption and on police but uh, what happened uh, uh, two nights ago shows that uh, there is no real political will to bring about uh, police reforms to ensure that the police are friends of the people and uh, act, act impartially uh, to avoid the lawlessness which clearly gangsters and thugs will not come on their own uh, to attack people unless they are uh, paid to do so. Who paid them? I think it's the police must not only inquire but why did the police uh, stand by doing nothing about it? I think that is most deplorable and secondly the, the second incident involving the police there should be a full inquiry into these incidents and uh, the, the, the residents have the right in order to make their objections uh, known that they do not want the barricade, that the, uh, and, and, but there should not be any physical violence. You, you were hurt by who? How, how did you get hurt? How did you get hurt? Um, actually a fall. It's a form of fall, running. Okay. Yeah. Running from? Yeah. I, I really don't know what was like, what, what what was actually happening. I just started running and that was it. And then I, I just had a fall and I realized it was cracked, so I had it cast. Because it was uh, actually a very bad nightmare there. What did you see? What did what were you running away from? Uh, from the people that was around there. You know, they were making a lot of commotion because I was with my children. You see, and I was just there and found out that the road was closed. So I was just there and then uh, people started bashing up people and then I tried to get into back into my car, that's when I ran and then uh, I fell off. Two of my kids. Uh, two and three. That two was the first episode. Huh? Uh, for what time? Uh, that was um, like after Margaret Queen. Uh, we were actually on the way out for dinner, so I decided to just you know, give my support to the people there. And then before, that's when I saw all those things. Huh? Because I couldn't reverse my car, it was trapped. So they were just smashing cars and throwing stones. It was a very bad nightmare for me, you know. And that was it. And I just fell and I thought it was just a sprain. But I went for an x-ray, it was actually a crack. They were smashing cars and throwing stones. Yeah. Throwing stones at who? Sorry. Uh, or what? Who, whoever was there. At the people. At the people. Because I don't know who they are, who they were hired by, but uh, they were actually Hitting us residents there who are trying to stand near the stones. Oh, yeah. so We're on a rampage yeah. against the people. Yeah. You're going your name? Uh, it's it's okay. Mas, Mas, Mas. 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 So that's it. Have you been a resident there? I've lived in Sungai Long for seven years. I bought a house in Maputichiras for past, uh, I lived there five years. I was the first face. Before the road was even built, there was just jungle behind my house. I'm living in section 1, which is just opposite next to the road. So I waited for the road to be open for actually more than 4 years. So what are your feelings about the past 2 nights or the past 3 nights while you I mean, some violence? I just don't know what to say. You know? it's just, I'm very ashamed you know, that this is happening to us. You know, it's, it's very sad. Uh, everybody seems to be talking about it, but not, no actions, you know. And uh, as a Malaysian, I don't think so. I should sit and be quiet. I should be with my people to tell, you know, that what we're doing. I all, all we want is just that road. That's all we're asking. Because uh, I send my girl early in the morning to school. I have to leave the house by 5:30. If I leave by six, I will never make it. Because uh, there's too many jams I have to go through. So, in fact, that day, when the first day on Monday the road was closed, it was very bad. So, the jam was lasted till like 10 o'clock in the morning, you know, right up to my section. 
roads and we couldn't leave. Uh, so it was very bad. But when the road was open, the congestion eased off very easily. That's right. Yeah. yeah. In this morning, there was no more jam. I could go to the market very easily, you know, it's no problem. And I just don't understand why this is happening. But they want is the end of this nightmare. Yeah. This whole community uh, yeah, has become a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's actually what we wanted. That's what we want. Uh, hopefully, it could be solved very soon. Uh, because it's got nothing to do with the residents. It's between the developer and the, the Grand Saga people. It's nothing to do with it. So we are the one who are being bashed up and stuff like that. It's, it's not fair.